Welcome to the show, folks. That's right. Today yeah. we're going to do a colorful fountain. We will need baking soda. Baking soda. Measuring spoon. Measuring spoons. Measuring and these. Cups. Measuring cups. Go ahead. What else do we need? We need those. Mm-hmm. Citric acid. Citric acid. Dish soap. Dish soap. Here we have it. Pigment. Pigment. Pigment that's blue. Pigment that's red and pigment that's yellow. Test tube. And test tubes. We're placing these on this cookie sheet with a towel underneath. We'll because be... it will be gushing out as soon as we finish it. All yeah. right, read us the steps. One, fill the test tube with 40 milliliters of water. Okay, Claire, we're going Drop to the 40. Three drops of any color pigment and stir evenly. Pour 10 milliliters of dish soap and three milliliters of spoons of citric that acid. acid. Nope, this is regular, just normal water. Did I bring that one? I'm not sure. So we need 40 milliliters of water here. 40 milliliters of water in the next one. Oh, we got a little more than 40. We'll pour a little bit out. Now we're down to 40. And 40 milliliters of water here. These test tubes have uh, numbers on the side to help us know our measurements. And then what was it after 40 milliliters of water? Drop three drops of any color pigment and stir evenly. So we're gonna do, Claire, you wanna do blue in this one? Mm -hmm. Just three drops, I'm gonna open it for you. Oh, the okay. yellow and the red just fell down. Okay, three drops of pigment. Um, the one, folks, this boat, the two, this will take a while, three. folks. And now do three drops of red pigment in the next one. I'm all gonna stir while you're doing that. We will need your, someone will need your help. Three so drops we'll in the second need one. Need a help from one, a two, three, for cheese. Oh, a professional. That's why. I did five <laughs> by accident. That's okay. I think it'll be all right. Or four. Okay, four. let's do some yellow pigment in the last one. And I want okay. to do it. Why don't you do the stir, One, ma'am? A two. Three. Good. Now our lovely, lovely instruction reader will stir each item, each pigment into the water in the test tube. And then our other lovely assistant here will pour 10 milliliters of dish soap. Let's see. That is one milliliter. That is 2.5 milliliters. That is five milliliters. That is seven milliliters. This big blue one is 10 milliliters of dish soap. The same as, no, that's 15 milliliters. That's more than 10. So we don't have one that's 10. We'll have to do most of this blue one. We won't be as scientific as maybe we could. Okay, those the items have been stirred. You wanna lay that on the towel? Oh, there you go. You wanna help me pour this dish soap in here? This one is 15 milliliters and we only need 10. So we'll do it most of the way full, but not quite. JC, would you like to pour 10 milliliters almost full here? You kind of have to squirt it. That's probably around 10. I want to do it. Sure. I want to do the next one. Absolutely. On the pour thing. Okay. And I'll pour it. This in there. There's more to pour. Never fear. Come on, Claire. Let me get that in here. 10 milliliters of dish soap in each test tube. And now we need three spoons 
of citric acid. And I think I'll do the citric acid. It says spoons. I'm not sure if it means a certain measurement. Wait, which one is the citric acid? Oh, I think we should stir it again. Claire, our lovely assistant, could you stir each one? Mm -hmm. JC, you do three spoons. It's three at the bottom. Yeah, that's where the dish soap went. Three spoons of citric acid. Okay, that's beautiful stirring, ma'am. One spoon in the first test tube. A second spoon in the first test tube. And a third spoon in the first test tube. I'll do the middle one and we'll let Claire do the other one. One, two, three. Now, Claire, would you do three spoonfuls in the blue test tube, ma'am? Mm -hmm. One, two. Two. We want to make sure our spoons get nice and full. Three. Three. All right. And then read step number two, lovely director. Add three spoons of baking soda into the empty measuring cup and then pour. Into the oh, empty measuring you're cup? You're reading so much. Thank you for enjoying this <laughs> <page. laughs> so. so let's do uh, an empty measuring cup here. This had water in it, so we it's not dry. Let me try that out. Um, can I do it? Sure. Put three spoons of baking soda in here, and we're watching for a reaction. And let's let's go ahead and pre-measure all of our baking soda. There's three in there. I'll do three in this one, and we'll let Claire do three in another one. I'll pour. No, no, no not yet. Please wait. Wait for the big reaction. One, two, three. We can all pour at the same time. That one will be mine. Now, Claire, get three tables, three spoons. Those are not tablespoons, but three spoons of baking soda. Mine were nice and big. That's okay. We'll see. It makes a difference. Okay, Claire is going to be pouring into the blue test tube. I'll pour into the red, JC pour into the yellow. Let's go, scientist. Oh, we have a gush. It's That's gushing, pour the rest of yours in there. The red is starting to pink. We have colorful fountains and it will continuously gush out. A little baking soda on my- So that's car. called erupting. Yeah, it is like erupting, isn't it? Mm -hmm our colorful fountains and the colors are mixing here on our tray. That's so cool. It's mixing with the black on the tray. It is, and the pink and the blue and the yellow are kind of staying separate on the tray. And look, the, the red is turning to pink. It is. Thanks for coming. Enjoy the show, folks. I hope you enjoy the show, folks.